Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Morrowind. Okay, so last time we checked out Coal Cave and we also checked out Barandus Keep. And in Barandus, we got our hands on some very cool stuff. For example, we got this Daedric Spear worth 20 friggin' grand. I thought it said 40, but apparently I imagine that's... We also got the Daedric Dagger worth 10 grand. We got these boots, Boots of the Apostle which are worth 55 and have a levitate 30 to 40 points for 30 seconds on self, built in and quite a bit of charge by the looks of things. Now, uh, a bunch of people in the comments told me that this is an artifact and apparently there are like 70 something, 76, 79, something like that artifacts in the game, all positioned in, you know, specific places I believe, as far as I know, I don't think they're randomly generated or anything like that. And, uh, yeah, so this is, like, one of the rare, really badass items in the game, and uh, people have told me, A, not to lose it, and B, if you go back to, uh, I think Cold, no, not Cold Cave, because Cold Cave was, uh, where we were fighting the Droths underwater, it was terrifying, if you haven't seen the episode, I highly recommend it, it's personally one of my favorite episodes, like, not from, like, you know, a me standpoint, but I think it was, a lot of cool stuff went on there. But anyway, it was in Barandus. Apparently, uh, some people mentioned that if you float to the ceiling in Barandus where you get the boots, there's something up there. Or at least that's what I've been led to believe. So we'll go back and do that at some point. But for now, we're near Margant, so we're going to try and find uh, Huleen. I think that's her name. Now, it's been about a week since I recorded because I've been very busy. I've been kind of sick. I still feel kind of sick now. I'm losing my voice. I feel like I'm going to throw up. But i got to record Morrowind, man. It's been too damn long. I want to play. People want to see it. So... If I'm not myself, that is why. Anyway, the reason I brought you in in the darkness is because we need to rest, and when we rest, anytime, we level up. Uh, now, we don't have many multipliers here, so I think, I don't know, I'm tempted to get endurance because that has a multiplier, but the other ones don't. Um, maximum magicka, ability to resist magic, and your maximum fatigue. Ugh. See... I'm more inclined to go for willpower, uh, intelligence rather than willpower, but a lot of people keep telling me that willpower is also very, very important. Uh, there's also things that it does that it doesn't mention. I can't remember what they are, but... Uh, so I guess we'll stick to those three. But again, uh, there are, you know, there's a boost here for endurance, but I think 50 endurance is a nice round number. We're not having too much trouble defensively at the moment. Maybe when we get to that point, we'll start pumping endurance. I don't know, but as a mage, this just seems like a good idea, and strength always seems like something you want to boost. I don't know. Anyway, we're level 11, that's the point. And we're gonna rest around, or wait around, I guess, until, I don't know, like 9 a.m. So we can actually see what the hell we're doing now, for some reason. Hello, weird freaking beetle thing. What the bloody hell are you? What is this? Diseased, oh god, it's alive, isn't it? Diseased Shalk. Is it dead now? Are you dead now? Did that revive, or did I just not kill it? Did I knock it down, maybe? Well, so that is a giant stack beetle. That's exactly what that is. What do you have? I'll take the resin, I guess. I've never seen one of those. That was kind of terrifying. I'm going to make a quick save, just because I can. Uh, some people have been mentioning uh, to not use quick saves all of the time and to make regular saves regularly, I guess, because uh, apparently Morrowind, Morrowind can crash and uh, mess up your saves. However, if you have a look here, I've been making some regular saves, and yes, they have weird names. Uh, so yeah, don't worry. I, I save... I make, like, a permanent save at the beginning, or the end, rather, of every episode. I was going to say the beginning and end, but that would be weird doing it at the beginning when you haven't done anything yet. Anyway, so I don't know why we were down there, because that's southwest. Hulene's hut is apparently in the southeast. And I, I'm not going to lie to you, I looked at a map, and it looks like it's only just outside the, uh, the city, town, settlement thingy. So we're going to try and find a southeast exit, and I would assume it's going to be around there. But again, I apologize if my voice sounds fucked up, or if I don't quite sound my normal chipper self. I, uh... I do not feel well. Like, I really don't. Uh, oh, interesting. We haven't been over here yet. Maybe, is this it? Tell me this is not it. Okay, good. <laughs> that would have really sucked. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very tempted just to TCL out of the edge here. I guess we don't need to. Eh, we're not quite at the southeast, are we? But there's no, yeah, it doesn't look like there's an exit out there. Alright, let's try and just jump over the wall then. Eh, eh, eh. You know what's not gonna work? We're uh, we're going to fly now, cause I'm a cheating son of a bitch. Shh, don't tell anyone. Okay. I don't mind cheating like that when it's like, oh god, that looks cool. When it just it doesn't really you know give you an advice as such as just saves you like a little tiny bit of inconvenience and or time. Now, you could you could argue that 
hey, I could technically just level my stats to, like, maximum, and that would only be saving me time. True, but that's a bit different from, you know, saving you 10 seconds. So, I don't know. Doing stuff like that doesn't really uh, ever feel like cheating to me. But I, I, I never really cheat in games. I used to do it a lot when I was a kid. Like, um, I remember when it, the first time I played Final Fantasy VII, holy shit, I, it's not even that tough of a game. I mean, the final boss fight is kind of difficult, but, like, I was having a lot of trouble with that game when I was a kid. Like, a lot of trouble. And I had, um, I think it was called an action replay. It was like a big square cartridge thing that you plugged into the back of your PlayStation. I think we're, I think it's going to be more over there. Uh, but you plugged it into the back of your PlayStation, and there were all kinds of cheats for that. For example, you could have Sephiroth in your party, but there was some weird glitch where everyone would become Sephiroth, and you couldn't control Sephiroth. So, the battles would just be automated, and you couldn't, what the bloody hell are you? Apparently you want some, I'll kick the shit out of you, you dark elf son of a bitch. Yeah, maybe my brother from another mother, but I don't care. I ain't racist against my own kind, I'll kill you too. Okay, seriously, if you could die now, my god. I mean, I know my stamina's bad, but Jesus. What's your name? Zanette. Oh my god, he's got a friend. You like bandits or something? You don't seem very powerful, I gotta be honest with you. You know what? I used to see you. Wait, I put my hands away. I used to see you. Oh, fuck everything. And yeah, I've been told to get uh, some repair hammers because the durability on the club is not good, so, you know. Next time we get a chance to buy some, I will, but at the moment... I mean, there might be a place in Morgan. There probably is. I should probably check around. But we'll do that once we've finally found friggin' Huleen. Finally! Quick safe! I got... I doubt I have anything good, but we'll check them. Uh, he's got like six friggin' gold. Yep. Bunch of shit. You disgust me. You absolutely disgust me. And you also have six gold. You know, if you put it together, you'd have 12. Yes, that's how poor you are. Well, this ain't Huleen's hut, I'll tell you that much. Well, that's the sound of the fire cracking. I was like, what the hell is that noise? And we got 25 in there. Uh, some quam eggs. What are they called? Quam, quama? Quama. Quama eggs. And... A bunch of shit that I don't want. Lovely. I'm not gonna lie, very tempted to look up where this bloody hut is, because I thought it was around here. And I don't see it. Maybe it's more... See, I don't know. Like, I looked at a map, and it looked like it was just sort of, like, right here-ish. I mean, it could be over there. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's go. Maybe I'll make a cut here if I don't find it soon. But anyway, the point I was making was, um... Oh, hello. This has got to be it, right? Oh my god, we found it. The point I was making was, uh, I had an action replay, which I used to just cheat my way through Final Fantasy VII. And, yeah. Uh, but since then, I've... Hi, Scamp. It's never really been a thing that I've done. You know, I really only did it when it was very small. I mean, there's also the cheats in, like, you know, Grand Theft Auto for flying cars and stuff like that, but it's not really a cheat, per se. It doesn't really give you an advantage, it's just kind of fun. Uh, it's a little dark in here, so let's use... I think people said to use light inside and night eye outside. And Jason said... Wait, let there be lights. And Jason said, let there be lights. Oh my god. Thank you. God, is there anything around here? Oh, yeah, they were talking about trouble at Huleen's hut, and there's a scamp in here, and everything seems to be knocked over. So now I'm understanding what's going on. Huleen's probably going to be freaking dead. Yep, she's dead as hell. I mean, we haven't found her yet, but you can just tell. Yeah. Well, she's, like, carrying in a room. The doors of the spirits. The ancestors are among us. They are never farther away than the waiting door. The ancestors are not departed. The dead are not under the earth. The spirits are in the restless wind, in the fire's voice, in the foot smothered step. Pay heed to these things, and you will know your absent kin. Pay reverence through gift and prayer. Uh, acquaint the ancestors with your affairs, with your comings and goings, with your blessings and trials. From the waiting door comes your protection. Heed the spirits who are the guardians of your hearth. Teachers of wisdom, counselors of fortune, seers of fate. Each bone is a door through the wall of a world, of the world. Each bone is the road. With wisdom and power comes great responsibility, Spider-Man. Uh, with wisdom and power, the travel... Uh, well, whatever. You know what? This box sucks. I'm bored now. Anyway, it doesn't... Glass goblet. Ooh, they look cool. If we ever get a house, I'll probably come back and steal them. No rest in the bed. We can. Let's do that. Because why not? I wonder if the scam's going to respawn. You back? Oh, that's right. The light spell. But hey, we got magic to cast it again now. Scam, buddy. You back? Anyone here to attack me? No? Okay. Uh, common robe. Yeah, okay, I guess we need to go in here. What's locked? Intriguing. I wonder if her key's around here. 
I mean, we can unlock it, but I'm, I'm just, I'm interested to see if they're going to leave the key around or if you have to unlock it. We're doing the mage, right? Mage girl, right? Because, um, yeah, that's right. Caius mentioned that the main quest is going to be real tough, and a bunch of people in the comments, you know, were mentioning, yeah, it's going to be real tough. So that was partly why we're deviating from the main quest. Plus, I don't want to just bum rush and finish the main quest. I want to try and do, like, you know, a lot of the cool side stuff in this game. So it's going to be a long let's play, in case you couldn't tell. Anyhow, uh, let's just open up this bad boy. Whoop! I'm very surprised that worked that quickly. What's our... Uh, hello. What's our success rate on that? 89, pretty good. You appear to be very much naked. Also, you don't look like a lady, and I'm pretty sure Huleen is a lady. You're not Huleen. Listian... Ah, hello. Did you want something? Well... Listian... Berlis... Berlis? I don't know. Is the scamp really gone? Thank you, whoever you are. This is all my faults. Uh, tell me about the scamp. At first he did everything I told him, but he tricked me. He wasn't really under my control. Then he started tearing the place up and he took all my clothes and I locked myself in this closet. It's been just horrible. Just horrible. I don't want to be a sorcerer anymore. I won't ever summon another danger as long as I live. That's a good point. We need to get summoning. <laughs> Even though Brandon didn't work out well for him. Uh, what about all your haunt? Uh, thanks for killing the scamp, Jason McGrizzle. Okie dokie. Is, th is that... Is, is that... Is that it? Is that all the... Really? I expected so much more. That was very strange. I mean, have we done the quest now? Let's try... Oh, I took it all. I didn't even mean to take it. Oh, whatever. He seems fine about it. Anyway, let's check the journal. I spoke with Dave... Huleen's apprentice. Oh, well, see, he didn't mention that. He apparently summoned a scamp. Okay, yeah. Well, what about fucking Huleen, man? Where is she? How could this be her hut? And, like, she's not here, and you're not even mentioning her. Which I can't bloody see now. Oh, let's unlock. I unlocked the sack. That's very strange. Alright, let's get light back out. I said, let's get light back out. I said, oh my god, will you please work? Thank you. I just want to check the shit in here, man. See if there's anything good. You never know. He's talking about being like, you know, a sorcerer and apprentice and whatnot. Fast bottle. Oh, I was hoping there were going to be good potions. There's like nothing good in here. What is this nonsense? Is there anything in the basket? Doesn't look like it. Can I really not ask you about Huleen? Someone in particular? I... What about Huleen? Did I just miss her? She... Like... I'm so confused. What the hell, man? Alright, well, I guess that was the quest. I guess we're done. I guess we need to go back to the Mexico. I don't know. That was really strange. I don't even remember who the hell gave us this quest anymore. Uh, I don't know. I, uh, can't we... Oh, God, I can't remember the controls. Can't we look at the quests here? Um... Oh, this one, yeah. I spoke with him. He has her apprentice. He apparently summoned a scamp. Everything seems to be under control now. Sure. So we need to go back to Edwina. Right. I think I remember where Edw Edwina is, so we can get back there. However, very quickly, let's go pay a visit to Morgan since we're here and see if we can pick up some uh, repair hammers for our hammer. Or whatever the hell this thing is. Club. Because, uh, again, it's not in good condition already. So, you know. And there's the people that I murdered in cold blood. But goddamn did they deserve it. Okay. Not long. We, we will be there in not long. I'm not, I'm not going to cut this out, but I'm tempted to. Because even with the uh, the speed boost mod, we're still kind of slow. Wait, where the hell am I going? I'm going the wrong fucking way. Oh, my God. I hate everything. I really should have put the mark, uh, yeah, the mark spell closer to mark in. Because we need to go up this way. It's so dark and... Oh, God, that's right. You're not going to be able to see on YouTube unless I use Night Eyes. Let's just do that. I don't know why it's so much dark. Like... I'm not kidding, it's so much darker on the recording, like, to a ludicrous degree. Who is this? I just walked straight back to the hut? What the bloody hell am I doing? But yeah, as you can see, it is right next to Margan. I, I don't know how we missed that, but we did. Well, there's the Silstrider, so you can actually see it from the Silstrider. That's even more depressing. How do I get back in the town? Ah, here we go, we found a door. Let's put our hands away so we won't, you know, melt someone's face off. Um... I guess we can just open up the map and see if we can find like general store or something. Hut, hut, hut. Hut, hut. There always seem to be huts. And there's Gary's hut. Good old Gary. 
God Tower. Shri that's right. That's right, there's a shrine around here, and we're still diseased. Wait, I thought people weren't supposed to speak to you when you're diseased. Oh, there you go. You've got the Black Disease Outlander, get away from me, and go get cured. Or stay away from me. My God, alright. So where was the shrine? Over there, straight ahead, okay. So yeah, we should be able to cure it at the shrine, I would think. So hopefully we don't have to waste any of our scrolls or anything like that, because I don't think we got too many of them. Morgan Shrine. Ooh, there's stuff to steal in here. Why do they look pink, but they look white in the box? It's very strange. Um, Magic Rock of Morgan. Here Mehrun's Dagon held this rock higher above the Dunmer. Vivek taunted Mehrun's Dagon so that, so that Dagon threw the rock at Vivek instead of the people. Ah, okay. Are you a Daedra? If you're a pilgrim, read the inscription on the stupid rock. Taunt the Daedra. I can taunt him. Ah, uh, can I just, like, get cured in the shrine? That would be nice. I don't think we can do that before we do anything else. I don't know if taunting this man is a good idea. Hello. I you're not going to speak to me, are you? No, you are a spell person, and you can barter. I mean, you're probably not going to have repair hammers. I guess it's possible. Maybe. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it does seem like a place where we can buy things, but we need to cure ourselves. That's Gary. That's Gary. Oh, Gary. That's a ghost. I don't want to catch what you've got. You've got a blood disease. You're a danger to everyone. You must find an imperial cult altar or a temple shrine. We'll see a healer or apothecary and get yourself cured. Otherwise, no one is going to talk to you. Well, we are at a shrine now, so you would think it would be a healer around here, even if, uh, you know, not an actual thing we can just click on to cure us. Are any of you a healer? I mean, it's not going to be him, right? I, mean, I guess it could be. I don't know. Yeah... Um, shit. Yeah, you're the spell person. And there was no one in here. God damn it, we're gonna have to go get a cure, aren't we? Because I want to check this place out. Hmm. I don't think we have anything to cure it without going to a shrine, so... Um... Alright, this is quite this is quick save, because I feel like if I use a scroll, it's gonna teleport me to this shrine. Which is not what we want. Uh, let's also put a marker down here before I forget. Um... Back to our magic, muck, and put the marker down. Okay, marker is down. Then, uh, which one... I don't remember which one's which. Divine Intervention or Alm Civi? I think you mentioned an Alm Civi shrine, though. Uh, well, no, Divine would make sense. I don't fucking know. Let's try Divine, because that would make more sense to me, right? Divine shrine, you know? Religious. If not, we can just reload the game and get it back. Alright, we are at the Legion Forts. Hmm. Alright, so it doesn't seem to be this one. Let's just check this other one, just in case. What the? Oh, I have to pull my hands out. I knew that. Yeah, okay, so this is the one that takes you there. Uh, how many shrines of... Uh, shrines. How many divine intervention scrolls do we have? It doesn't say, does it, without going in the menu. Um, okay, two more. So, yeah, I really should... Re I don't want to reload the game to get it back, but we really should, because we only have three of them. It's, you know, it's a, it's a waste. I don't know how easy they are to acquire. You can probably buy them, but I would imagine they're going to be expensive. All right, well, anyway, uh... We put the marker down, right, before I saved it? I don't know. Let's do it again. Okay. Then... Elm City Intervention. Now get your hands out. What the hell are you doing? Okay, hopefully we can get cured here. Then we can go straight back. But yes, I'm an idiot. Oh my god, Morrowind, what the hell are you doing? Morrowind? Did it crash? I can't move my mouse cursor, I can still see the screen. Shit. Uh, shit, shit, shit. I think it's crashed. Oh my god. Yeah, it's crashed. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Boy, does Morrowind love to crash. Now, I noticed we actually have a spell called Elm Civi Intervention, so we can just cast that. Lovely. Now I'm going to quick save before we go in here, because I feel like it might happen again. I really hope it doesn't, but, um, that thing's probably going to pop up. I'm hoping it just doesn't crash the game in the process. Okay, it looks like we're okay this time. I think. Okay, good. So again, there must be like a missing, uh, mesh, I think. I think that's the word. I think it's like a mis missing mesh. So base. Oh my god, I can't fucking speak. Missing mesh. So basically like the physical shape of an object. So we'll probably see like a giant yellow, yeah. Well, alright then. Well, alright then. Um, anyway. Are you a healer? Welcome, my child. Do you seek to join the temple? I didn't know you could. Uh, can I get blessings? I'm not telling you that. Anything else?
else? Oh my god, you motherfucker. Alright, well, let's have a look around. I mean, you know... Oh wait, is this... That's just a tapestry. What is it off? I have like... someone else to buy that. Wow, you dick! Looks like a bunch of people in armor. Let's get, uh... Let's get a light bag out. Didn't we have a better light spell here somewhere? Oh, that's right, we have light eye, which, like, destroys our magic. And we usually can't cast it. Lovely. I thought we had a regular light spell, like a good one. Besides the one that's called Let There Be Light. I guess we don't. Uh, well, let's just do that then. Yeah, I mean, that looks like a... Like, those look like the shoulder pads, and then there's the chest piece there. Like, weird legs. It almost looks like armor on a stand as opposed to on a person. And then that looks like a cape or something? Oh no, it's very cool nonetheless. What's this? Again, it looks like a drawing of like a weird looking dude with horns on his head, a shield and a sword. And like a bony ribcage thing going on. So like probably not human, I'm guessing. Uh, so, oh my god, stuck on the furniture. Hello? Where do I... Oh, here we go. Hello? Alright, fuck you. Um, would you like to make a donation? Yes, I think this is the way you do it. Cure, dis cure blight? Okay, it disappeared from down there. So I think we're good now. Uh, yes, we are. Uh, do we actually have a blessing now, or did that just get rid of it? It's lights. Mm, I don't think so. Let's do that, and then... Yeah, Rorus's Bloom. So what did that give us? Fortify Health. Five points. It's alright. Depends how long it lasts. Can we get another one or will it override it, I wonder? Meris is warding. Uh, gives you 20% resistance against corpus disease. Okay, it looks like they do stack. Intriguing. Alright, well now we can actually do things. That's handy. Hello. Oh, what brings you to the temple? Uh, what spells are you selling? You have to get rid of that moonshine. Oh my fuck. Oh. God, it's so, it's so annoying. Like, what's the point? I could just drop it and pick it back up, man. It's like really not a big deal. All right, spells. Holy crap, they're expensive. Well, some of them anyway. Cure blight disease. Yes, yes, I will buy that. Charisma. Uh, I don't really care too much. I got plenty. Reflects. Hmm. Reflect could be handy. Ah, we'll get it. Actually, uh, we don't have that much money. Uh, flame God, blah, 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 resist, uh, absorb fatigue, orc strength. See, that sounds good. Fortify strength, 5 to 20 points for 60 seconds. Uh, fortify endurance also could be handy, it's not too expensive. Charisma, wisdom, fortify intelligence, also probably worth taking. Agility, I don't care too much about. Fortify willpower and luck, probably worth taking. Magic guard, resist magic. It'll last 10 seconds, but we'll take that. What was this St. Olm's one? Drain fatigue, don't care too much about that. Alright, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't think we... I'm trying to remember if we wanted to make a, another spell. I feel like we did, and I don't remember what it was. Maybe we should just make like a really weak version of the light eye thing. I don't know. Anyway, what up with you? Join the temple. Oh, that's right. What are you training? Oh... See, I don't know if joining the temple will uh, lock me out of other things. So I think I won't do that just yet. And you can let me know if we're allowed to join it now and it's not going to mess anything up. Then sure, we'll do it. We can always come back here easy enough. Uh, you're new to Aldruin, right? So you're looking for services in town. I sure am, baby. What are you selling? Selling a bunch of scrolls. Do I care about these? I mean, maybe? That's right, someone mentioned a shield that we could buy somewhere. I need to look at the comments. I'll probably do that next time I'll make a cut. Assuming I make one, you know, before the end of the episode. But someone mentioned somewhere we can get a shield that's much better than the one we, that we have. I think it's you can just buy it, so... I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the one that we have is not great, basically. Like, not at all. Holy shield, that's what we have, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Heavy... Okay, um... Yeah, we need repair hammers. I doubt anyone here is going to be selling any. Fellowship of the Temple. Fellowship of the Ring! Oh, hello. Why do you outlanders think you can bother it's not worth that much. But, looks cool. And I mean, I'm tempted to steal it. What is that? Feather belts. 
Got the 20 points for 10 seconds on self. That actually seems pretty good as well. Can we turn around so we can steal this? Do you want to sign some more? My god. It's not all bad, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Alright, I think we're done here now. Let's uh, recall back to the other place. Again, let me know if I can join this without messing anything up. I have to be careful in this game because, you know, it's very finicky like that. So, I mean, I don't, I don't have any reason to believe it will happen, but... I'm pretty sure people have warned me about certain factions clash with other factions, so that's why I'm being careful, you know? Anyway, let's go in this shrine and maybe taunt the danger or something? I guess we should speak to the other people first. Hi. If you are on pilgrimage here, I may assist you. Do you want blessings of the temple? Do you want... yeah, sure. Very well, stand still. Holy crap. You gave me a bunch of stuff. Uh, which ones did he give me? Sanctuary? Uh, isn't that like defense? If so, 75 points seems really fucking high. And fortified attack. That's a really good blessing! We could kick the shit out of someone with that. Thanks, buddy. I wonder if we can come back and keep just keep getting that. I mean, it seems like it. Interesting. Uh, blessing of the... T uh, I guess we'll ask about the temple. If I liked you better, then I might tell you. Alright, take some fucking money, you son of a bitch. Alright, let's try admiring him. I like you. We're going to be friends. He does not like me doing this at all. What if I give you a hundred gold? Yeah, you like a hundy, don't you? Oh my god. What the hell, man? Alright, three hundred. That's your lots. You're too kind. I can't refuse such a friend. Okay, now tell me about the motherfucking temple. Except I don't... Oh god, let's scroll down. Temple. Uh, the Tribunal Temple is the native religion of civilized Morrowind. They worship three god kings... Al... What is that? Almalexia, Sothasil, and Vivek, who are known together as the Tribunal... Ah! We usually just call it the Temple. See, I had no idea what Tribunal meant, because again, for those who don't know, there's an expansion for Morrowind called Tribunal. There's also one called Blood Moon. I think Blood Moon's, you know, more related to werewolves and shit. I don't know, though. Uh, but I have the Game of the Year edition, so I have them both. Anyway, um, tell me about Alm... Almalexia. Uh, they were the virtuous wife of Lord Nerivar. Ah, and later, the consort of Lord Vivek. Tell me about Vivek. At once brave and honorable, and cunning and devious, Lord Vivek is a rare combination of the virtues of flamboyant adventurer and prudent statesman. Okay. About Sothasil. Sothasil was the mightiest wizard and most wise counselor of the First Council. And tell me about the Tribunal. Like loving ancestors, the Tribunal guards the council and counsels us. Counsels us? I can't fucking speak today. Like stern parents, they punish our sins and errors. Like generous relatives, they share their bounty among the greatest and least according to their needs. Alright? Ancestors, the worst of us live long after death and we beg our kind ancestors to protect us from the evil ones we call ghosts and devils and demons. Demons! Like Matt Damon, that son of a bitch. What about you? Go ahead, I'm listening. Um, you just seem like a regular fella. What is this? How dare you talk about that after what you did? What did I do? What did I do? I don't understand. Are you angry at me? Do I murder someone called like Tashi P or whatever? Hello, what Gary. Gally. What does Gary think about this? Apparently, Gary is not. Apparently, well, what the hell, man? I don't know what I did. Um, what do you think about this? Same thing. Something Interesting. Right Something right about you, maybe you should go. Alright, so they don't like me very much. Um, was there anyone else down here? I think there was one more. Yeah, you. You're the spellmaker, There's right? No time for talk yes. Go. What are you selling? Some potions, which we really should buy, because good lord, we ain't doing too great on them. What is this? Varieties of faith. I don't care, I'll be honest. I just don't care. Uh, we got a bunch of ingredients we can sell for actually quite a bit of gold. But let's sell him this for now. We'll try and get like, I don't know, 187. Okay. And then Bonnet, how much money has he got now? 387. So we can sell a few of these things. What do we get for four of those? Almost 387. Let's try and get 387 so he's broke. Okay. Well, we at least made some money there, you know, like a little tiny bit. Uh, I guess I need to see what you're selling as far as spells go. Fun of Sin, Sleep, I think we've seen most of these before. Uh, Fortify Willpower, we already bought one of those, didn't we? Fortify Strength, 10 points for 60 seconds. 
So these are like very similar to what we've bought, but slightly different. Hmm. See, that one's just fortified strength to 10 points. The other one was like 5 to 20 points, I think. Which is better, I don't know. Probably the 5 to 20, but... Probably costs a lot more to cast, I would guess. I mean, the lower end is lower, but the higher end is much higher, you know? Anyway, I guess I'm going to save and taunt this motherfucker and see what happens with this. I am an Hadra. If you are a pilgrim, read the inscription on the stupid rock. I did. Do I have to do it again? Hmm. I don't know. Let's taunt him. I, can you, like, just get the stuff off the screen so I can see now? Oh my god. Oh my god. Get out of here. Why is the text on the screen? Stop it. Get, okay. Say something about your pathetic taunts don't... Yeah. Continue with your insults, mortal. I long to feast on your marrow. Are we pissing him off? Ha, fine. Words from one born from the wrong end of the gua. Oh. After I kill you, I will rape your corpse. Don't worry, I'll be gentle. Holy shit! He actually said that! I told the Dramora at the Shrine of Morgan and he attacked me. Um... Hear it. I mean, we're not gonna get... I'm, I'm gonna do it, I suppose? Yeah! Wait a minute. I used to... Oh god! Cast a friggin' spell! I used to see you! Chill out! Do you know what killed the dinosaurs? It was me! It's me! It's DDP! Oh, uh, look, he turned into ash. And we got his silver sword. Was that worth doing? I'm thinking no. I'm gonna take his sword though. I'm over encumbered. I'm not gonna take his sword. Well, we uh we murdered a Daedra for nothing. I feel like a bit of an asshole. However, he did threaten to kill me and rape my corpse afterwards. So I guess considering that, he had it coming, you know? What a dick. Uh anyway, let's go back to you've been wounded? What? Oh, it's probably someone telling me that I'm, you know, injured. I know I'm injured. I'll be fine. Don't worry. Again, I realize it's probably very dark for you. We're just going to go with the Silver Strider. I guess I may as well wait around before we do that. Because even... Well, no. The Silver Strider is probably going to make time pass. If I can find the friggin' thing. Where is it? I thought it was over here. Yeah, it is. Anyway, so yeah. We're going to go back to Balmora. Just because I can probably buy us some repair hammers there. And then we'll go back to the Mage's Guild. And we'll see what we can do. I don't bloody remember how to get back to Balmor. Shit. Can we go there from Aldrune, maybe? Why walk when what the... Yes, quite so. Yes, we can. Okay, good. Uh, so anyway, we have to speak to Edwina, I believe. Now, I know she's not in the Balmora guild. I don't remember which guild she's in. It's like either Vivek um, or Aldrune or something like that. So we can get there easy enough. You look really suspicious. What's up with you? Look, Outland, a foreign is nowhere. Okay. Shut up, basically. Tell me about the Kimono Tong. You remember? Nothing I would tell you. Okay. I don't trust this guy. Apparently, you can join the Thieves Guild by speaking to someone in the bar here in Balmora, so we'll probably do that before we head off. But again, I want to get the Mage's Guild stuff done before we start branching off into other things. I mean, if we get distracted by, you know, like a dungeon or a small side quest, fair enough. But like, going from one large lengthy chain of quests to another, I, I'd rather finish the chain we're on, if that makes sense. So I'd rather finish the Mage's Guild before we start the Thieves, but we can at least join it once we're here. Anyhow, um, let's give him some uh, money, I guess, and see if we can make him like us. Well, I did a little bit. Because uh, it seems like he might have something to say. Uh, tell me about the Komodo Tongue. We're just natives trying to get along. It isn't easy with all the ignorant foreigners sticking their noses where they don't belong. Can I make it any clearer, Outlander? Okay, so he is a member of the Komono Tong. I had a feeling he would be, because he's all ninja looking. He's got like a dagger and, you know, a leather top and shit, and he looks like a badass. Like, look at that face. That's like freaking Mad Max right there. Well, not Mad Max, but like a dude from Mad Max. Uh, anyway, I think I'm going the wrong way. I do believe the shops are around here. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's a club. We don't care about the club. I got time for that shit. I believe the general store is right about here. I think. Yep. Okay, well, there's also a blacksmith here. So, I mean, if this guy hasn't got repair hammers, you'd think the blacksmith would. Or, if nothing else, the blacksmith can probably repair my shit for me. Uh, we're kind of low on money, though. Uh, this is the guy that lies about having Daedric, isn't it? And he's got a ruby. Ruby, 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 ruby! He's got some cash. Um, yes, you're not having those. Of shoes, oh, I guess you gotta take those. I mean, I want them for you know, like posing, but realistically, we really don't have a uh... wait. Does he even buy these things? Yeah, he does, okay. Realistically, we just don't have the uh, the space or anywhere to store them, so 
Stoneflower petals, okay. I'm hoping none of this is... Oh, that's right, apparently in, um... Uh, I'm gonna keep this wax. Apparently in Coal Cave, where we're killing the uh, Druffs, uh, apparently if you use... You can basically go back to the shrine at the beginning and use a Druff wax on that. So we've got a couple of things we need to do back in that area. Again, we'll do that at some point, but for now... We'll uh, try and get some Mage Goat stuff done. So the pearls as well. Does he have the cash? No, he does not. You motherfucker. Can we take something back in return, I guess? Like, I don't know what. Maybe like the emerald and the ruby? I don't know, uh, maybe just the ruby? Yeah, that's close enough. Try and jack it up a little bit. Oh yeah, it seems like our merchandise skill is way better now. Anyway, he didn't seem to have repair hammers. I guess I'll double check. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Unless they're like here at the beginning, but I don't think so. Alright, well in that case, get out of my sight. I guess we need to go to the blacksmith, who I believe is right Ha. Huh. Yep, I'm actually remembering things. Good God. Hey, buddy. I like the way he's called Meldor, you know, like melding, melding iron, you know, like melding. It's it's genius. It's a pun. Uh, repair my shit. Oh, damn. That is expensive. That is really expensive. In that case, don't repair my shit. So we repair hammers. You must have some, right? He has 20. Good God. I'm going to buy them all. It's going to weigh a lot. It doesn't cost that much. I was trying to get him down low, like, I'll give you a four hundred. That actually worked. We, apparently we can be a little bit more, uh, really can't help a little bit more aggressive on the bartering than we have been. Anywho, let's do this and repair our stuff, because this will get rid of some of the hammers. Let me just... Yeah! Speed clocking! This will get rid of some of the hammers, so we can save some space. Oh my Christ. Ah! Repair faster! Well, so if you could give me, like, um, an armor level, I'd really appreciate that. Oh my god. This is chewing up the hammers, man. We did get an armor level. So that's something. We got one out of all of this shit. Plus anything we did before. Just just take a moment to think about that. Alright, how many hammers do we have left? Ele we used... Alright, 11 and a bit. So we used, like, freaking 8 and a bit. That's insane. But hey, everything's repaired. And, uh, it still costed... Or cost, I guess, way less than he was going to charge us. Why are we still having coming? I guess we're carrying, like, uh... Yeah, that's like 42 pounds. I don't know where to put that. But I don't really want to carry it. Um, can I sell him, like, these arrows or something? We need to sell something. I guess we can sell... Well, no, the guy's only... See, here's the thing that we can do. This is the scamp who's got 5 grand, right? What we could do is... Like, um, by, basically, we could put the, say for, say for example, we could put the Daedric Dagger in his inventory, then he's going to pay us five grand and owe us five grand. So what we could do then is take back five grand's worth of stuff that he's carrying, and if he's not carrying five grand's worth of stuff, maybe we could sell him, so, yeah, like, uh, some way there we can maybe figure it out. I don't know. Just take it. I can't be worth the barter. It's not worth it. Um... The stuff, we definitely should sell you, because again, it's not really worth taking to the uh, scamp. Plus, we just need the space right now. So we'll do that. Okay, I got refused, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Oh my god, come on. Oh, I drank the window, no. No. Hang on. I'm going to do this, just so I can uh, fix this window. There you go. In fact, why do I not just do this, so that we can actually see what the hell we're doing? There you go, that's better. Alright, um... Actually, that's a good point. I could just make this way bigger. And we have to scroll this. Okay, that's handy. Anyway, uh... Yeah, I don't want to sell on that. Can we actually move now, is the question. No, we can't. Why can we still not move? Alright, we're like fucking eight pounds over. God damn. Why do we carry like two wicker baskets? Oh, that's right, I looted a bunch of shit I didn't want. Alright, let's get rid of those. Get rid of the gems. What is this? Soul gem with something in it, a glass bottle I don't want. Can I move now, maybe? Almost. Oh my god. What was my carrying? Let me guess this ruby. Do you want to buy a ruby? Maybe some pearls? I mean, I doubt it. Nope. That's really irritating. Um, what's the ruby way? Not that much. Maybe I'll make a cut here. I, I don't know what to get rid of. Like, I really don't. Um, even the potions don't weigh that much. I'm gonna drop like five fucking repair hammers, I guess. Three. Ah, oh, three's good enough. Wait, where are they? Probably all down there. Yeah, let's take one. 
All right, so we're just about, you know, not over encumbered. Okay, so anyway, let's go back to the Mage's Guild and then travel to. Uh, I think it might be Alrun that uh, Edwina's in. Again, I know it's not Balmora. I know that. I just don't remember which one. So we'll try Alrun because I think it's either that or. Yeah, it's either that or Sandra of Mora, I think. I don't think it's Vivek and I don't think it's Caldera. It could be Caldera. I don't think it's Vivek. I think it's this one, actually. Is she down there by the table? Yeah, it's totally the one. Okay, good. What one is this? Aldrun. Okay, try and remember. Aldrun is where this chick is. She is... She went walk around. She went walking around last time, so... Yes, friend. So what do you do? Uh, Morrowin Law. In case you didn't know weapons... That's not law. That's not the definition of law at all. Is that... Yeah, it's, I think that's Edwina over there. Edwina, stop it! Okay, where did you find? What did you find at Hulene's hut? Was it worth all the intolerable interruptions? No. So Hulene's apprentice summoned a scamp. Is that all? I can't believe I was distracted from my studies for something so trivial. Speaking of which, I discovered these scrolls during my research. You may find them useful. Two scrolls of the fifth barrier. That actually sounds very handy, but it better not overcome me. Otherwise, pow! Right in the kisser. Advancement. Uh, the Mage's Guild appreciates the duties you've done, but you simply do not. Okay, to about more duties then. Yes, Jason McGrizzle, I have finished my study of. Chimav... Wait, let me try and get this right. Chimavamidium. Chimavadium? I don't fucking know. That's... Can you believe this isn't about a Duima construct at all? This book was completely useless. In any case, I need you to return the book before... So long way suspects anything. Return the book to where you found it. Uh... Where was so long way? Ahead, please. Tell me also, the book has over encumbered me. I'd just like to point that out. Son of a bitch. I will come back for you one day, Hammer. I will come back for you. I think they were in this guild, but I don't bloody remember. Um, yeah, I think they were. Weren't they, uh... Weren't they, like, the blonde, high-elf-looking chick who was... I think over here, actually. Well, maybe not. Let me check the journal. Uh... Oh, Vivek. Handy. Handy. Very handy. Thank you. God, I love the journal sometimes. Jesus. All right, Edwina, you're going to have to move your fat ass out the doorway. Some of us have got to get through. Again, I apologize if I sound like drunk or something. I just, I feel really sick right now. Like, I really do. Uh, what is this? That looks like, you know what that looks like? That looks like Ramu from Final Fantasy VII. Like, it straight up looks like Ramu. And that looks like a bald fella with uh, a bunch of scrolls. Maybe they're the older scrolls. Is it just... Am I the only one who doesn't really know exactly what the Elder Scrolls are? Here's my understanding, and feel free to correct me, and I know, like, the lore buffs will. Are the Elder Scrolls basically, like, um... Well, sort of like holy pleasure. godly objects that tell of events before they happen, and, you know, uh, too powerful for any one man of will, basically. Well met. That's my it? understanding of the Elder Scrolls, like, you know... They're just all powerful, like, you can learn, you know, all the knowledge of the universe from the Elder Scrolls, pretty much. I think? I don't know. Which one's Salon Way? It is you! Good! So I have to return it, so I don't remember where it was. I think it might have been in this box. It's unlocked, so fuck it, we'll put it in here. It does say Salon Way's chest. Alright, so we're not being looked at at the moment. Uh, miscellaneous. Now, I remember the name of the book, I just don't remember... Where it's going to be in the inventory. Could be anywhere. This, is this in alphabetical order? Oh, it totally is, isn't it? Oh, well, there you go. That's handy. Um, was that where it was? Did we did we do good? I mean, I, I think I did good. I don't know. Uh, it hasn't updated. Well, I've never heard of such a book. What? But you have it. Was I supposed to put it in the closet? Uh, I'm just going to assume we've done what we were supposed to and go back. I'm going to make a quick save here, though, just in case not, because then we can just reload. Okay, you you are going to have to get out of this doorway. I cannot believe I fit through there. Uh, but anyway, so that's my understanding of what the Elder Scrolls books... Uh, not books. The Elder Scrolls, what they do. Like, they just seem like, you know, all-powerful knowledge, basically. Hello, Edwina. Did you return it? The book is my return. Good work, magician. Once I know the location of some Dwema ruins, I'll be asking you to travel to some dangerous places. These amulets will help you return to safety. Oh my god, stop it. Oh wait, they're... Ah! 
Ah, okay, so we got amulets to do that. So we don't need the scrolls anymore, I think. Plus, we also have the spell. You can over and cover me, though, aren't you? I keep... God damn it. God fucking damn it. Can I advance now? Oh, all right, Judies. I'm so glad you asked, Magician. At this delicate phase of my research, I need to study a Dwema tube. Oh, my fucking God. I've seen a bunch of those. There is enough to find, I believe, there's still some in whatever the hell that is. Arkham Thunch Sturdums? When was last there? Would you be willing to travel there and bring back the tube? Yes, I guess so. I appreciate your dedication to Mr. Grizzle. Dave is northwest of Kinesis, but there's an easier way to get there. Go to Ald Velothi and follow the coast to the west. Where is Ald Velothi? I mean, I have a, I have the, God, I keep hearing about me. I'm sorry. I have the map up on the screen. So hopefully it's on there. Uh, take the Silver Strider to Genesis and follow the roads north. I will mark our Velothi on your map. Okay. Silver Strider to Genesis. That's what we're going to do. So we probably want to leave the guild, I guess. Don't actually remember where the door is. Hello. How's it going? What do you want? You look bloody terrifying. Uh, you're in China. Get out of my sight. The last in China and me, we didn't get along very well at all. Oh, I'm not ever encumbered. This is surprising. Wait a minute, that's a good point. We're not actually wearing an amulet, are we? So can we not just equip one of these? Uh, oh, yeah, we totally were. We were wearing the amulet of stamina. So here's the thing. Is there any point actually wearing the amulet, per se? Because it seems to me that they don't give any stats or anything. You could just use them like a spell. So, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, the point is it didn't have encumber us. We're probably real close, though. Why are you purple? Or pink or pinkish purple? Well, the other ones are wet. I don't know what's up with those egg things, man. They freak me out. So, how does one get out of this bloody guild? Um, maybe over here? I don't actually know where the door is. Have I ever left this place, like, without teleporting? Oh, this one's traps. Hmm. It looks like they know where we are. Oh, no, they don't. Okay. Well, we'll try and break in here, then. Uh, we have a probe. We have quite a few, in fact, I think. Uh, which one do we want to use? Are any of these, like, used up? Journeyman, Journeyman. This one, I guess, has been used then? Or maybe all three of the other ones? How do I... How do I get my friggin' probe out? There we go. Okay, we disarmed it. Good. Still locked, though. Um, so let's get this out. This spell has unlocked its target. Good! Alright. Don't think we're in trouble yet. Sneaking. Oh, that's right. It's, uh, we should probably... Wait a minute. Can I just... Okay. Disarmed. We unlock you. And then we find out it was not worth it at all. 135. You know what? That was worth it. We're, we're not that high on cash right now. Again, we have some stuff we should probably go and try and sell to the scam. But we got so many things we're trying to do right now. I'm just trying to, you know, not get distracted here. Um... That's worth taking to sell. That's probably also worth taking the cell, but we don't have the space. Of course not. Son of a bitch. I guess I'll put, like, a hammer in here. All right. Any of these also worth a lot? I mean, there's one that was worth, like, what, 100, 200? Oh, I already took it. Oh. Well, all right then. Yeah, we probably should just take the one that's worth 400. That weighs 25? Holy shit, man. Okay. Okay, good. We still are not over-encumbered. I guess we should check these. You never know, there might be something good in here. I doubt it, honestly. I think the, the booty was probably in the chest for the most part. Yeah, just a bunch of pedals and shits. I think the sex. Pretty much the same stuff. Okay. Well, hopefully no one minds that we robbed them. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. Let's put our hands away. Put the pro away. Don't want to be walking around with that. They'll be like, what were you doing with that thing? Nothing. And then like, wait a minute. Someone broke into this trapped room. And that guy was running around with a probe. They could probably put two and two together. Oh, wait. Is this the exit? Yes. There we go. Okay, so. So Strata to Gnesis. Go north. Uh, and then something about it being marked on the map. So hopefully I don't have to use my external map here. That would be handy. Also, I just realized I'm hot as fuck right now. Good God. We make a special trip. Yeah, a special trip to Gnesis. Same low price. How long have I been recording? So it's about 30 minutes on this part, plus it crashed earlier, so it's probably been a long episode. So holy shit, this place looks so cool! Have we been here before? This looks awesome, man! No, I don't think we have been here, because uh, the map's not filled in. 
Maybe we should explore this place and then next episode we'll, uh, you know, start heading out. Something like that. I want to explore this town, man. So what up with you? What are you doing? Come back here. Welcome, I'm Jason McGrizzle. I am Hani. Wait. Hi, Neb. Let's um, see. I'm Dave. You're in the village of Gnesis. If you're a pilgrim, you're probably looking for the mark... Wait, the mask of Vivek at Gnesis Temple. Otherwise, I can help you find what you're looking for. Tell me about the mask. Vivek's Ash Mask is a holy relic display, displayed within the shrine of the Gnesis Temple. Pilgrims travel from all over Morrowind to view the sacred artifacts. I wonder if we can take it, or maybe it's like the rock and it's just a thing you can look at. It's probably like the rock. You know, Dwayne Johnson. Trade house. Sure. Roadhouse. Have a look in here. Oh, yeah? yeah you scratch that head. I uh, don't care. Who cares? Downstairs. Ah, so it's uh, it's a bar, basically. When did... I don't know you, do I? When did you get to Genesis? I don't know. Uh, it's a small agricultural village on the Uada Semsi. With a prosperous little egg mine, interesting, we sit on the caravan route to Alrun with Silt Strider service and traders with... Wait. With Silt Strider... Oh, God, I can't fucking speak. With Silt Strider service and traders come through here often. Oh, okay. That sounded weird until I read the whole sentence. I do that sometimes. Uh, anyway, uh, like any small outland caravan village, it has a market, the Genesis Temple, and a trade house... The Madash Trade House, unlike most Outland Villages, there's a Death's Head Legion garrison in Gnesis, and pilgrims come here to see the Mosque of Vivek at the temple. Tell me about the temple. See on the shrine in Gnesis, pilgrims visit the temple to pray before the mosque, a holy relic. The temple maintains a hostel for pilgrims and trailers, and provides the other services common at any other small shrine. Okie dokie. Um, doubt any of these people are going to have all too much to say. You are not a god, you're actually like a lady. Hello, how's it going? Bow chicka wow wow. And there's a random uh, lizard man just, you know, chilling down here. What are you doing here? What can I do for you? Apparently nothing, because you seem to be a completely filler NPC. I don't know if NPCs like this are added by, like, um, the more in graphical overhaul mod thingy, because there's some other mods in there as well, like... The beggars, for example, are added by that, or at least, you know, yeah, I think the beggars are. So, I don't know, maybe characters like him that don't really seem to do anything are just added by a mod? I don't know, I really don't know. What the hell is this thing? Cool looking building, man. Ah, uh, the barracks, okay. Um, we might be able to join, like, the, the military or whatever they're called there. Hello, orc buddy. I'm trying to look at your face, what the hell? Can oh my god, stand still. Be trusted. No! No, I cannot. I'm guessing you can't either. I guess that's a hut. This is probably also a hut. Yes, it is, and it's locked. I don't think there's any point that's really breaking in. I mean, there could be something really good in there. I don't know. Ooh, we found a stool. Uh, advice, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Butter. What are you selling? But your armor, I don't give a shit about. Repair prongs? Do they actually work? Are they like repair hammers, but maybe better or something? I actually don't know. Um, do we even have the space to carry one? Uh, not really, no. Ugh, alright. Guess we ain't gonna be buying that. But yeah, we really do need to go to, uh, the scamp at some point. At least to unload, like, the dagger, if nothing else. How much does the dagger even weigh? I think it's quite a bit for a dagger. Uh, yeah, nine pounds. I mean, that would be handy, you know? What do you do? Uh, oh, you do do something. You... I don't know what kind of store this is, like, clothing, I guess? Rent a gate ring. I guess these are just rings that you can buy to enchant, because otherwise they don't seem to have any points. Speak. Now. Yeah, we should really try and get into enchanting at some point. What is this? Ah, this is the temple. Yeah, people like this, I think, are added by the, uh, the mod. Oh, you also do bartering and repairing. You also have more prongs. Surprising how useless the stores in Morrowind seem to be, at least for my character. They always seem to have heavy armor, and not even particularly good heavy armor. Uh, let's get the light spell back out. Okie dokie. Hi, how's it going? Zenmok Semalamus. I bet. Excuse me, I don't talk with people I don't like, you motherfucker! I'll probe the shit out of you! I will probe the shit out of you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Is there only one place to put a probe? Oh my god. Yeah. There we go. Alright, well anyway, quick save. And, oh god, it's so fucking hot in my room. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh, that's right, I was gonna bribe you. Even though I'm not happy about it. Ooh, potions. I'll buy these. Don't mind if I do. I ain't gonna recover me, aren't they? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. What can I sell you? Gonna sell you anything? Do you take anything at all that I, that I don't need? I mean, do you take this ruby? You do. Do you take the pearls? Wait, this is the drop wax. I need that. Oh, we already sold the pearls. That's right. Do you want these? No, you don't. You bastard. You freaking bastard. What is this? A lit hide. Seems a bit crap. Ah, uh, you know, good enough. Uh, at least we can maybe move now. No, we can't. You know what? I don't want to drop. It's worth 400, man. We need the money. What can I drop? I guess more hammers? I also have a wooden cup. That would be that one freaking chest thing that I looted by mistake. Oh my god, I dropped them all. I hate everything. Let's drop one. Two. Three. Four. Can I move now? No! Fucking five! Apparently I went ham on the hammers. God damn it. Oh! That's why we need to get rid of some of the stuff that we're carrying. It's just ridiculous. Some of this stuff has decent... Oh, bug musk. Decent press. I wonder if the bug musk is, like, actually gonna give you some resistance to something. Okay, good. He likes us enough now. Heal companion. We should really buy that. Stamina. Uh, we got an amulet for that. But I... Yes, I'll buy it. How much money do we have? Enough for now. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't know what Sanctuary does. Barrier has to be defense. So what is Sanctuary? I, I'm sure someone said it's it's like the equivalent of defense. I don't know exactly. I really don't. Um. Okay, so we can get more buffs here. It's cheap, right? So we may as well. The Rock of Lolothis... So where's the mask? Is this the temple? It is. So the mask has to be around here somewhere. Take a donation. Something grace. Oh, maybe the mask is over here. I don't know. This guy's kind of blocking the doorway. Uh, no, seriously. Move. Annoying outlander. Annoying outlander. Fuck you! you son of a bitch. What is this? The doors of the spirits. Probably nothing good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really? What the hell, man? Why would you stand there? People have been, like, giving eggs to the gods. I don't know that the gods give that much crap about, you know, a qualm egg. I mean, they're gods, right? So it's been a bit weird to me. Like, donations for gods and things. I mean, I get the concept that it's more of a, a gesture than anything. But, like... Give them something they can use. You know, it's a god. It probably doesn't need an egg. I don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe gods are short on eggs. Where is this friggin' mosque? They, they mentioned there was only one temple... That is not what I expected the mask to look like. I expected, you know, like, what this fella's wearing on his face. That kind of mask. That was not what I got. I guess we ain't gonna be lifting that. Oh, this is... Wait, what? Oh, this is the Shrine of the Mask. Has anyone seen Son of the Mask? Oh my god, that movie was fucking terrible. Fuck you, Jamie Kennedy. What is this? Would you like to donate a potion of cure disease? If I have one, yes. Oh, the grace of justice. Thank you for your justice. Lord Vivek, I shall be neither cruel nor arbitrary for fair dealings earns the love, trust, and respect of our people. Okie dokie, and we got a journal update for that. I made the pilgrimage to the Mosque of Vivek and read the Grace of Justice. Okie dokie, I want to steal the Ash Mask, I ain't gonna lie to you. But, uh... Do you have arseless chaps? It looks like arseless chaps. Also, whatever that black thing poking out is, it looked a bit like you had an erection there as well. Like, from the right angle... So you're a lady. That looks even weirder then. Hello. Excuse me, I don't... Oh, my God, man. People are such dicks around here. See, I don't think we're going to get away with stealing this mosque. But if we did... I mean, I don't know if it does anything. Watch yourself. But I want it, right? No trouble here. Maybe... It wouldn't surprise me if there's like a Thieves Guild mission to steal this mosque or something. I really wouldn't. I want that so bad. I mean, there's a dude right here. It's not going to work. Let's take it. We'll see if we'll take it just to see what it does, if it does anything. What the? Okie dokie, you cannot steal it. You actually cannot steal it. Fair enough. That even further enforces my belief that there probably is a Thieves Guild quest to steal it at some point, which is probably why we can't take it yet. That would be my guess, because... I mean, for the fact that it's got weight and value, 
why else would it have weight and value if you couldn't actually pick it up, right? I don't know. It's a weird room, but very cool nonetheless. Anyway, so yes, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna end this episode here. I cannot speak again. I, I feel sick today. I'm sorry. But uh, yes, hopefully you enjoyed it. Next time we will uh, carry on with the Magical Quest. We will head north and try and find out of Alothi. And yeah, do whatever the hell we're supposed to be doing there. Wasn't that a Daedric Ruin where we're, Dream of Ruin rather, where we're trying to get a tube? Something like that. I expect we'll run into many enemies and probably die horribly. But yes, anyway, thank you all for joining me. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate it. Like and I will see you next time for more Morrowind. Goodbye!